What's up guys, it's Avery. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite things from last month, the month of April. So my favorite clothing, like this little Yoji cardigan right here I've been waiting a minute to talk about. My favorite movies and music that released last month. Let's jump right in. Now that it is the middle of May, it's about time that I talk about these things. Let's see what happened last month. Oh, our event in New York. Are you kidding, Kaylee? I forgot about that. Our event, moving her out of New York, finishing up school, which is absolutely crazy. And then I talked about that a little bit in my last video. And then moving my stuff out of Indiana and now prepping to go to Europe for a while. We have a few cities booked, but not everything. We don't know how long we're going to stay. But let's talk about these clothes real quick. I guess one of the things that I'm most excited to talk about is this cardigan right here. This is a Yoji Yamamoto knit. This is just crazy. It is a cardigan, but it dark gray knit cardigan. Pretty standard, but not at all. I don't know why I even said that. It looks like a cardigan right now, but it almost looks like a cardigan caught a disease. It is grotesque, but beautiful. Really, really gross looking in the elongated sloppy sleeves the very rough edges, I guess, and the way that it's cut as far as the closure goes. The back actually has some really interesting tailoring going on, a really interesting shape to it right there. But this is a size four cardigan. It fits me beautifully, um, slim but loose, slouchy, gorgeous. This is what I wore to graduation, and it's one of my favorite things in my wardrobe right now. A little too hot for it, but definitely one of my favorite things. Next up, I want to talk about this necklace right here. This pendant chain, whatever, is from Werkstatt München. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It is this little workshop where everything is handmade in Munich. That's what the name means at that. But this is an awesome chain, nice closure. Everything is just so beautifully done. I don't even know why I mentioned that, but it has a really pretty star on it. A little uh, Dunlop guitar pick that I, we've got a bug down here, that I considered removing off this and making it almost like a shorter necklace like the one I'm wearing, but I ended up really, really liking this one. So they make some gorgeous product. You can find some older stuff for cheap, or you can get their new season stuff, which is absolutely gorgeous. And it's all pretty fairly priced, especially compared to other designer jewelry that might be brass and is just priced up for the name or stuff that isn't as masterfully done because every little detail is gorgeous. So let me get some footage of that for you. But the next item is a t-shirt. I have two really plain items to share with you. This one is a Dries Van Noten um, Henry t-shirt. Why does every single clothing item, is it named after a human's name? I don't know, but this is a Henry T. It is really nice and casual. Um, if anything, I would just like it to be more of a natural cotton rather than this bright bleached white. But it's really pretty, really casual, roomy, has a good shape to it, all of that. And the other thing are the, my, 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 my jeans that I'm wearing, which are these 505s. I got a second pair, and I think I'm actually going to get rid of these just because they're a little bit too much of a true black for me. These are a size 31 by 34 as opposed to my other pair that has that much lighter wash, more gray to it. And they fit me a little bit better. They fit my hips super well. We got some music going on in the background. If you can hear it, some people are preparing at this concert venue we're at. They're slightly longer, so they sit on top of my shoe with my long legs. And they're also the really cool made in USA pairs that have that awesome Halloween black and orange towel in the back, which is really cool. But I think I'll probably be, be getting rid of them. I can't talk today probably be getting rid of them um, on a sale I'll be doing with Grailed. So that'll sell a lot of my higher, highly sought after items too, but I'll probably be getting rid of these on there too so you can look out for them just because I don't want to haul anything too much over internationally. Big box of freight. But even though these weigh 17 and a half pounds, I'm bringing them. This is an item that I might need to do more in-depth look at for you guys because of how curious you were on social media on Instagram in particular so you can head there if you want to see more but these are some damn boots from Rick Owens glitter that is fall winter 17 I can talk about that more to the collection as a whole but this is a lace-up platform boot that has this geometric lacing with this awesome drab green shoelace going on there and then these crazy platforms 
I finally got these in April after they released last year for a few thousand dollars for that very reason. Just too expensive and some of you guys know that there were construction issues with this with how complex this Lego sole pair was. But I'm really glad I finally got these on clearance. And as far as Lego soles go, I was really looking for this platform where it has those colors from glitter that were in the other garments. So these are a beautiful and crazy pair of boots, just like that Yoji sweater. They are disgusting, but they're perfect. That's the deal. You guys, I finally saw a new movie. Can you believe it? I finally saw a movie that, that kind of released this year. We mentioned it last month, that is Annihilation. That is a very ambiguous sci-fi thriller, little drama there. A uh, really, really fun one and really cool movie. And for you international folk, it is on Netflix, which is really cool. So go watch that one if you want to check it out. Otherwise, see if it's in a theater near you if you're in the States. Another really odd sci-fi movie I watched was Event Horizon, which is a fairly cheesy ghost thriller. It's taking that traditional horror movie and putting it in the future on a spaceship that can travel faster than the speed of light and it is definitely like a psychological thriller but just the CGI, the gore, all of that is very funny and theatrical. The other one is Paprika which is an animated movie that maybe you know from the likes of oh my goodness what is it called with Leo Incep Inception, yeah, Inception. But that is a really, really fun and charming one. Definitely good as far as animated movies go if you want something that can entertain adults and kids alike. Um, it's a good movie about escape. I guess there you go. And finally, as for every month, you always end up watching a few YouTube documentaries. I know I watched one about Francis Bacon. That's a really interesting life story if you want to check that out, but there's always a few of them when you're at school when you don't know what to do, you wanna learn something. But yeah, those are some movies I watched during the very busy month of April. We're gonna finish it up with my favorite music releases from last month. I think there's some good ones in here. I'll try not to keep you too long. But if you're interested in any of the clothing, I'll leave some links down below. I also have a section on my new website that I reset up that um, shows off what my outfits are made out of on Instagram. So if you wanna check out some outfits there, wanna go see where you can find the clothing, all of that, some cheaper alternatives, whatever, you can head to that link. But until next time, everyone do me one last favor, have a good day for me, enjoy this music, I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys. Talking silhouette, the darkest. What is it? Yeah. Oh